Saturday, March 5th, 1932. We've heard nothing further about the Lindbergh case except that on the radio this afternoon we heard four speeches about it. I don't know where the first was from, but the others were from Princeton, Hogwell, and from the general store at the end of Lindy Lane that led up to the house. They said in the paper this morning that Betty Gowes, the nurse's sweetheart, was into it. He had a date with her Sunday night, Monday night, and was to see her Tuesday night, the night the baby was stolen, but phoned her instead. That was funny. The police took a look at his car, which was similar to the one in which the kidnappers used, and found in it a milk bottle. He had been a sailor and was arrested till something further shows up. There were no fingerprints on the ladder, which was found a little way from the house. Mother thinks that they didn't use the ladder at all, but just put it there for a bluff. I've put all I can think of, but I've cut it out out of the papers and put it in my scrapbook, which is already as full as a stuffed turkey. Right after dinner today, Daddy and I were playing around in the kitchen while Sister was fooling around doing nothing. Mother had left the room for a minute. Daddy was using the door as a prop, and as I gave him a final tickle, the door opened and he fell back on Mother. I thought I would have a fit laughing. When I laughed, Mother frowned, so there we were. Campbell Hornsby and some other boys were flying around some big red kites. It has been real windy and cold.